question was about uh, short hair on guests and how to make guests feel good about short hair on them so that they still feel feminine and pretty. And I think that's a really great thing. And in looking at this room, you are all going to have a really hard time doing short hair on, because there's not a short hair person in this room except you. You a little, and you have like when a bob becomes the shortest hair in the room, you don't have very short hair. So it is harder when you have long hair. You will be doing more long hair. If you have medium hair, you're going to be doing more medium hair. And if you have short hair, then you'll probably do be doing more short hair. So you have to sort of decide who you want to be and how what kind of clients you want to work on. It's not that I don't get to do long hair people. I don't have that long of hair. But it always becomes harder if you're the girl, especially I think it's harder for women, to um, tell other women to cut their hair if you haven't. Right? It doesn't make any sense. And if you're always telling your hairdresser, oh, I like long hair because it makes me feel sexy. So you can't be telling somebody else, you have to have short hair so you feel like a butch dyke. But you have to have something that you can talk to them about. So here we have Helene, who loves her hair short. So it's not anything to convince, but I and, I, and so I wanted you to see how great someone can look with short hair, um, so that you sort of open up. And if you can imagine her with longer hair, you just have to sort of imagine, what would she look like with longer hair? Because I think that this is really the best hair for her. Now she is not that unusual, right? She, said she doesn't have a face that's that unusual or a body that's that unusual, but this happens to work really well for her. You do need to look at people's faces and know that however their face looks, and this is a lot of the reason that people don't like to have short hair, they will, their face will look more like that with short hair. So if they have a dramatic face, they will look more dramatic with short hair. If they feel like they have a really round face, Sometimes seeing more of the face makes people feel like they have a rounder face. Um, so anything that they feel like they already have, if they feel like they have a large nose, I hear this a lot, you have a large nose, having shorter hair sometimes makes people feel like they have a larger nose. So you have to have something within the design that either speaks to that or talks them out of having that long hair. But you have to have a reason for it. It's not, it can't just be a personal problem. So, a, a couple little tricks in looking at her profile. Um, for the, a lot of you know that I haven't been um, cutting hair for a little while because I was out with a little health problem. So, I'm just getting back, and so I'm going to admit that this is not my hair cut on Helena. One of the things that I'm not as wild about is making the necklines on women too neat and tidy. Because I think that's one of the differences. When you have a, a short haircut that, makes, that says, I'm not feminine, that means it's saying I'm masculine. So you have to look at what makes a boy's haircut a boy's haircut and a girl's haircut a girl's haircut. And there's lots of little um, tricks and a lot of little things that my eye looks like. And I'm going to start at the back and work forward. The neckline. I don't think women look great with perfectly shaped necklines. Like, that's a guy's haircut, not a girl's haircut. So your options are leaving this really soft, more fringy, not so perfect. Pulling something out that you have as a quirk that maybe on one side or another that gets completely left out and longer and is disconnected. It doesn't have to be this long. I'm pointing all the way down into her shoulder, but it's just longer. So in some place there's something that's a little longer. Um, finding some shape in their neckline that you actually accentuate that. That, you know, if I did that on a guy, it might make him feel uncomfortable, but on a girl, it could make her feel smart. Maybe a W or a really strong scoop or something that makes that neckline. It would just, rather than trying to worry about what makes her look feminine, think about what uh, a guy might be uncomfortable with because it makes him feel feminine. Flip it around because you're a girl. So you're going to identify more with that. So just think about that. So guys like really clean, cropped, um, uh, not fussy necklines. I like on women, not clean, not cropped, and fussy. I like some fussing somewhere. I like something designed into that.
that neckline that looks like you planned it, and it's customized for her by me. So that that's where I'm going to get my couture, some kind of a couture neckline. Okay. On the sides, um, for right now, I probably, especially now, I might if, even if I have it clean over the ear, I probably wouldn't have it clean in front of the ear. There's got to be something about this side that says girl. And what guys like is really clean sides, typically. You know, cut it over my ear, make it really clean, and when I'm judging, and I have to grade like a boy's haircut, that's what I'm looking for, so it's really clean sides. Now this might not be a 20 year old guy up here on Capitol Hill that goes to the clubs, because if you look at those guys, then the, their sides are really not clean. I mean the haircut at the moment for a short layered guy or girl is sides that are not clean. That says this moment, but a typical boy's haircut wouldn't be that. So. But if I was putting something on a girl or on a woman, whether she be 20 or whether she be 60 or whether she be 80, I wouldn't make the sides too clean. I just think it looks more current and more feminine not to. Does that make sense? So that's a round edge. And then in the front, probably something similar is that I have to have some sort of detail here that is not so clean that this just says clean, 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 clean. Because when you do that, it just becomes, that's when they start to look more masculine. And then you look at the front. Um, typically, the front of a guy's haircut doesn't have a lot of quirks in it. You know, a typical guy's haircut in the front is very clean and simple. So on a girl's haircut, I would go something a little fussier. I'd say it could be a little asymmetric. It could be fringy on one side and solid on the other. It could be something that looks like it was custom made for this haircut that I probably wouldn't put on a guy. Um, the top, I, I don't know that there's a guy's top and a girl's top. Um, I think that the, the shape that she's blown into her hair and wearing her hair today is really popular for men too. Um, so I, I don't know that there's so much guy's tops and girl's tops, but uh, I think all the perimeter things make a, can make a real statement about this is a masculine haircut or this is a feminine haircut. So 